what's up everybody let's uh another day let's time to start tackling this down start welding everything that needs to be welded up uh just kind of gonna go at it a little at a time weld as much as i can uh till i finish uh welding everything that needs to be done but that's uh first thing i'm gonna start doing on this on the 32 roadster guys so uh let's go ahead and tackle it what's up everybody so um you see i was welding some of the frame give you guys another quick uh update here so i took the firewall off uh started stripping down the paint on it uh because i know i'm gonna have to do some metal work on it um just to get it um uh looking a little bit better if anything i still gotta strip it down so i can paint it but let me show you guys chassis welded 
that's welded up. I still need to do some more welding on the wishbones where the wishbones go. Um, that when I take the frame off, I'll get underneath it and weld it. Um, the other thing is I went to the guy uh, that sold me the car to go do a parts run. He had some extra parts. Here's the uh, 32 axle he gave me uh, for the car as well. Uh, here's some other stuff. I got a block for it, a, a flathead block. Can't go wrong with that. Um, a roadster top as well. I have a flywheel for that flathead there. I got some flathead parts up in here. I got to go through some of that stuff. Threw in a lot of things in here. Transmission case, uh, transmission top. Um, if so, uh, spindles. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, he gave me that stuff. Um, top of that, I got stuff in here that I have for the roadster as well. I got a horn. Uh, I don't know, a bunch of stuff I got in here. I got to go through, unload. So uh, definitely uh, cool, you know, getting this all these additional parts. Not sure what I need. Uh, that will kind of, what I don't need, I'll probably just sell just so I can have some extra funds uh, to finish building this car here. Uh, but I will uh, end up taking the radiator, the grill off, uh, start working on my headlight bar. You can see there's a little uh, piece that I started working on for the headlight bar, changing that up. I did get a headlight bar for the 32, which is right here. So I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of play with it. See what I'm gonna do if so. Uh, but yeah, that's a quick update for you guys. Uh, continue unloading all this stuff and, and uh, kind of organizing it, if anything. Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm working on my headlight bar. And that's where my fog light is going to be going. Uh, I'm just kind of in the mocking stage of it. I did, uh, you know, bend some three-quarter inch steel uh, round tubing and kind of started messing with it to see where I can put it. Originally, I was going to put the headlight bar above the frame, but I think I'm going to build some brackets and bolt it to the side. You see there's holes here already, so I can just do like two bolts here, build a bracket and kind of bolt it from the inside and um, kind of do a fog light in the center of that. Um, I haven't seen that. At least I don't think I have. So I think I'm gonna go that route. Now that um, that headlight bar, I guess would be, if I don't have my headlights attached to it, um, I guess you could say it's a spreader bar in a sense. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it my fog light bar, right? I don't know, I mean, this is something different. I wanted to kind of stand out in that, that light in the middle, I think uh, would be perfect for it. So my headlight bar, um, what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm just gonna, I was thinking of running my headlight bar, um, thinking, well, can I run it across? It might be a little too much, I believe, um, running it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the ends off here, put it to the side here, and then just kind of bend to my um, headlight uh, bracket and just kind of have the headlights attached to as close as I possibly can to the grill show. I uh, think that will not look bad, but uh, placing the headlight bar in the middle, right above that, um, I don't know, might be a little too much. Let me see if I can mock it up and, and see what it would look like. Okay, so here it's with that uh, headlight bar. Uh, I kind of have uh, <laughs> some, some metal uh hanging attached to it so you can see that way kind of brings it down but i can even even if i bring it down just a little bit lower or it might just be perfect there um i think i might just do that add the cut the ends off of it uh tack weld it up put the headlights on and give me a better idea what uh, what it's gonna look like uh but that headlight bar leave it the way it is that front bottom piece just be like a spreader bar so uh, yeah
yeah, let's uh, go ahead and cut that up and then see what it looks like. Alright guys, so check it out. Chopped it down. Um, you can see the end there. Did the other side as well. Let's uh, let me see if I can get it focused in there. It's kind of hard to see. It's not focused properly, but um, either way, you guys get the picture. It's um, cut. So my next thing is to uh, do my brackets right that's gonna, that's gonna hold it down i'm gonna have to grind these down and then just you know drill some holes on the frame and uh heat these bend them down and kind of go from there really i just gotta make sure i do it uh the same length so we'll see i'm gonna put it up against it kind of give it a tack weld and then uh, go from there if so let's go ahead and do that All right, guys, so let me show you guys what I did. I kind of uh, mocked it up somewhat. Uh, it's, it's holding on right there, but what do you guys think of that? Headlight bar being up there gives it, gives it enough spacing in between. Um, the That uh, crossbar where the fog light well what well, fog light bar would be i guess uh, i think it's enough spacing i think if i bring it a little too close it might be too much going on but i don't know i think i kind of like that uh worst case i can always heat up those arms and bring them down later on but for now i think i'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that tack it up drill my holes and then kind of go from there.
Kind of like that that center there um, let's throw another tack on the back we'll throw the headlights on get even better look This headlight bolt's giving me issues right now. It doesn't want to go on, so let's see if I can clean up the threads with it a little bit. Definitely um, like that look for sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, got the headlights, uh, fog light. I'll just looks. Like I have to center that fog light a little bit more. But um, right now it's just kind of being held with uh, some vice grips. But. Uh, I don't think it's uh, bad at all, to be honest. kind of like it. Totally, uh, definitely different. You know, once I take those vice grips off, it's going to, I'm just not going to see them. I just got to build the brackets for it. For now, I'm just going to leave that tacked in. I'll fill those, uh, I'll fill it up, clean it up. But uh, yeah, I like the look. Let me start making some brackets for the for the fog lights. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to make a little bracket that I can bolt that um, fog light onto it. So I made a little template out of some cardboard. See this little template here? I just put it, I made a hole in between it just so I can, um, get an idea you know of a flat surface for it to make so i think that'd be perfect i'm just gonna make something out of steel i found this piece here which i'll just kind of shape into it i'll make it a little bit longer that way i'd be able to uh weld it towards the back if so but uh i'm gonna clean this piece here 
so I can uh, be able to trace it with a black uh, um, Sharpie and then start cutting it out if so. Let's go trace this. Right there, let's mark the circle or I drill it through. We'll drill that out right there. Let's do that. my uh my grinder and i'll kind of clean it up put it on my vice grip so i can be able to clean that up if so see that let's do it
Check it out, guys. So I welded that tab in there so it can kind of hold it. I still got to kind of screw it in. I could probably grind down that tab a little bit more uh, so it's not as noticeable. Well, you really can't see it if you're standing up. You really got to look down into it. But either way, um, I think that actually looks pretty good. What I'm going to work on next, I just tack welded it. I'll show you guys. Just kind of tack welded it there. I'll throw some weld on it. Uh, but I'm going to leave it like that for now so I can make the brackets that come on the side here for this side and the opposite side. And then just kind of go from there. I'll uh, align my headlights so I can drill out the holes for my, my um, headlight uh, bar if so as well. Alright, so I decided to go a different route. I was going to do the brackets on the inside have this kind of hang in you know like like so but i've always wanted to make a headlight bar that had some style to it not just kind of plain so what i did is if you notice i pie cut the ends here brought them out a little bit more did it on both sides and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to just weld it onto the headlight bar just about here um and then I'll leave this open. I'll buy that piece just to see how it would look if it's on it. If it's too much, I just take it off. But I think I want to go with the headlight bar attached to this bar as well. And I think it'll, it'll definitely be something totally different that you've never seen before. Or maybe you've seen something similar to it, but I just wanted to make it a little bit different. I wanted the headlight bar to be all one piece with this um, fog light. So for now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tack it and then kinda see what it looks like. But I'm definitely shooting for this route right now. And worst case, I can always change, change it, you know what I mean? So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's tack it up. Using my tape measure as a as a guide for uh, the spacing I need. So Yeah, I definitely think I like this better. I don't know. Um, check it out. I like that look on it. Um, the other thing I was thinking is possibly moving the fog light. Instead of it being centered there, um, maybe move it towards like the side that's probably not a bad idea either that way it doesn't look too you know kind of funky i don't know maybe i'll tack it right there on the side and opposed to being in the middle the, the, the thing is in the middle like when do you ever see a fog light in the middle right maybe like the 50s like fords like shoe boxes that have it in the middle big old um bulb in the middle and i mean it kind of takes you back to that in a sense right um but if i offset it to the side it might look i mean it'll look good if it's off to the side but my thing is no one has it in the middle i haven't seen it like that um it'd be its own piece 
you'd be able to uh, tell, you know, hey, that's that, uh, that roadster. Um, to be honest, I've never seen any car around here uh, that looks like this. So I'm just kind of going based on like, you know, um, just what I've seen and, and uh, well, not what I've seen, but just trying to be different, if anything. So I like this look, especially in the middle. Uh, I can always move it to the side, but for now, I think I'm definitely going to keep it there. You know, but uh, either way, you guys let me know what you guys think. Should I put it to the side, offset it to the side, leave it in the middle? It's gonna be definitely different. Um, now, the other thing I am gonna put on it is turn signals on my headlights. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the signals, and I've done it on my 32. This 32 is actually leaving uh, tomorrow, so I'm gonna look, go for that look right there that turn signal on the side so um, once again it's gonna be different um, but uh, let's weld everything up for now all right so I'm gonna start welding this up I just kind of have it tacked up um, I'm gonna weld it down uh, that way we can finish off this headlight bar you know I, what I'm gonna have to do is, is actually get it chromed um, as well because that's the only way it's gonna look good right so uh but for now let's weld it up and then we'll mock it back up i'll set my holes for the headlight bar where i gotta drill them out we'll drill them out and then uh we'll go from there move on from one thing to the next
Okay, so I um, <clears throat> finished welding. I uh, bolted down the fog light in the middle. Uh, what I'm gonna do next now is actually drill the holes for the headlight bar. I measured each headlight bar from corner, from this edge to the inside of the headlight bar. It's nine inches on each side, so it's equal on both sides. It looks pretty even. Um, so what I'm gonna do is draw some uh, some uh, circles in between so I can drill out my holes, drill them out, and then that way I could bolt the headlight bar in, throw the headlights on, and then we'll see what uh, what it looks like. So let's uh, let's do it. All right guys, so here's the final result. Got the headlights back on, got the fog light back on. Um, all bolted down. I drilled the holes out. Um, you guys can see there, I just put some bolts in there for now, uh, just to kind of hold it in, put the headlights in. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, how it turned out. That's the new headlight bar um, with the fog light. I don't know, kind of dig it. I think it's uh, pretty cool. You know, it's gonna be uh, definitely noticeable. Uh, you know, I haven't seen this. You guys have? Give me a link, see who has one like this, because um, I haven't seen one. So definitely the, the main thing is to kind of be different, uh, change it up a bit, um, and that's what I'm going for. I want this roadster to kind of stand out on its own. Uh, that way, when you see that, they know, hey, that's that uh, roadster uh, that Jose built, right? So, uh, 
once again uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add the turn signals on the side of the headlights and uh, I'll be doing that tomorrow this is uh, pretty much it for today um, you know I got other things I got to take care of I gotta um, you know so once again thanks everybody for you know watching and uh, following along uh, especially with this uh, roadster build that I'm doing now hopefully you guys like uh, what's going on here uh, definitely gonna have to chrome that uh, headlight bar it's gonna look super badass once it's chrome um, so but like I said uh, keep watching give me a thumbs up give me some comments whether you like it you don't like it do you think I should move that fog light to the right to the left uh still doable things not chrome yet uh but uh definitely uh want to know some input uh thanks again everybody for uh you know continuing uh,